Lizards are among the most prevalent groups of animals found in the biodiverse country of Costa Rica. These reptiles are often overlooked by travelers hoping to seek out some of the more iconic rainforest species, but for us, the herpetofauna was one of the highlights of our trip. On our adventure, we encountered more lizards than we had ever expected to, and they were present in just about every habitat that we explored. So get ready, because these lizards are some of the most adaptable and fascinating animals we have ever come across. Whenever we are out searching for lizards, it is always our goal to get them up close for the camera, which we typically accomplish by catching them. There is one family of lizards, however, that has eluded us every time we have tried, the amoebas. We have featured the Puerto Rican amoeba in our BVI herping adventures, and in Costa Rica, we were able to find the reticulated amoeba deep in the rainforest. These guys are terrestrial insectivores, meaning that they live primarily on the forest floor and feed mostly on insects and invertebrates, though they will eat small vertebrates on occasion. They are a beautiful species, and their striped patterns serve as very effective camouflage in the environment. Even though we never got to catch one, we were very lucky to get these guys on camera. Another lizard that we only briefly got on camera was the brown litter skink, a very fast little species that inhabits the rainforest undergrowth. They are prey for many other species, and their skittish behavior reflects that niche. So we are here on the Irasu volcano over 11,400 feet up, which is absolutely insane, and we thought there is no way that we could catch a reptile, but lo and behold, we came across this green spiny lizard. Check her out. Now this is a female. The females are gonna be that drab gray color where the males are gonna be a much brighter green. So we did see one male, but he actually got away. And the only reason I was able to catch this girl is because it's so cold up here. It's around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So these guys are actually a little bit sluggish in that temperature, but usually this lizard species is extremely fast. It's nearly impossible to catch this guy. Wow, and see how spiny all those all those scales are, they're tiny little scales, but it actually makes it difficult for predators to ingest them because those scales are so spiky. Look at the tail. Check that out. And they're mostly up here eating insects, small ants, and flies, and there really isn't a lot out here for them to eat. So this guy is extremely hardy. I am so surprised we found a lizard out here. 11,000 feet, and still catching reptiles here in Costa Rica. Ready for the release? Yep, we're gonna let this little girl go now. Oh, there, wow, she, there goes. she goes. You guys are not going to believe this. This isn't a minute after Harrison just caught that spiny lizard, and we've come across this tropical alligator lizard as well. We're still on the Irasu volcano, still 11,400 feet up, and we found two different species of lizards out here. Now, take a look at this guy. We think he's a male just based on his size. He's kind of curling up right now, but look at the tip of his tail there. We think that he lost it in combat with another larger male. And uh, this species is actually not capable of caudual autonomy, which is why, after all this time, his tail hasn't grown back. We can tell it's an old injury, because wow. it's totally scarred over. But yeah, look at how pretty this guy is with that green Beautiful. and black coloration that helps him blend in with all the, the low scrubs out here. And to think, we're still so high up in the, in the volcano and we found two lizards. I know, it's absolutely incredible. We didn't think we'd find any lizards at all, so this has been an absolute dream come true for us. Let's go for the release. Yep, see, look at that. He's just sitting on me now. Watch it, he's probably gonna, he's probably gonna run away. There he goes. During our travels through Costa Rica, we were blown away by the number of lizard species we encountered and the variety of habitats that they could be found in. Lizards are among the most adaptable groups of animals in the world, able to flourish everywhere from dense rainforest undergrowth to the peaks of towering volcanoes, and this adaptability makes them vital parts of the ecosystem. Lizards interact with several different trophic levels, as they feed on many species and are prey for many others. This middle link position is crucial for the transfer of energy, which is why it is always important to support and protect the diversity of lizards in the environment. If you enjoyed learning about these intrepid little survivors, leave a like on the video and tell us down below which lizard was your favorite. 
we have so many more amazing species to share with you. So don't forget to subscribe to the Wildlife Brothers so you catch all the content coming out soon. See you later, guys!